Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to read Two Old Potatoes and Me. Two Old Potatoes and Me by John Coy. He's the author, that means he wrote all the words in the story. Illustrated by Carolyn Fisher. She's the illustrator, she drew all the pictures. Two Old Potatoes and Me. Last spring at my dad's house, I found two old potatoes in the back of the cupboard. They were so old, sprouts were growing from their eyes. Gross! I tossed them in the trash. Wait, Dad said. I think we can grow new potatoes with those. I'll call your grandpa. He'll know. Dad and I talked with Grandpa. Then we took the potatoes to the sunniest spot in the garden. We dug. We picked out rocks. We raked the soil smooth. Dad carefully cut the potatoes into nine pieces. I made sure each piece had one yellow sprout. Dad dug all nine holes. I put a piece of potato with the eyes facing up in each hole. Then I covered them with dirt to make little hills. Dad got the hose and I watered gently. In May, green plants poked up like caterpillars unfolding. We got down on our knees and picked weeds. We shoveled compost onto each hill. Won't that smother the plants? No, they'll grow through it. Are we really going to get new potatoes from old potatoes? I think so, Dad said. In June, the plants grew bigger. Violet flowers blossomed, and we added more compost. When we watered, I accidentally sprayed my dad with the hose. He laughed and sprayed me back. At the bottom right here, this page, the caption says blossoms. The caption describes the pictures, so these are blossoms. In July, when the plants were as tall as my waist, we picked potato beetles off the leaves. I dropped them into a pail of soapy water. Gross! We have to do this, Dad said. Otherwise, the bugs will eat the leaves and the potatoes won't grow. In August, some of the plants turned brown and withered. Are they dead? No, said Dad. The potatoes aren't gr are growing underground. Are you sure? I hope so. That's what your grandpa said. We weeded, we watered, we waited. Right here, this caption says potato beetle. So the name of this beetle is called a potato beetle. This caption says withered plant. A withered plant is a plant that is just turned brown, okay? And like they said in the story, it's not necessarily because the plant is dead, but because potatoes are growing underneath the ground. Now, on a cool September day, Dad and I sit on the bench in the yard. Soon we get up and walk to the garden. What's your favorite way to eat potatoes? Dad asks mashed with lots of butter and a sprinkle of nutmeg for good luck. Mmm, that's my favorite too. Let's see what's under these hills. Dad gets the garden fork in the sh from the shed, and I carry the big bucket. Dad digs at the first hill. Nothing but dirt. He digs again. More dirt. After all that work... I say. Dad hands me the fork. You try. I dig deep. I lift the fork and see seven gold shapes. Potatoes! I shout. Look at those spuds, Dad says. The caption of this picture says, mashed potatoes with butter. This photo. Photo is another word for a picture. So these are mashed potatoes with butter. 
I bend down and pick up a potato. I rub the dirt off its skin and set in the bucket. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four, five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. Each hill has lots of potatoes. Some are small, some are big, some have funny faces. 51 potatoes, 52 potatoes, 53 potatoes, 54, 55 potatoes, 56 potatoes, 57 potatoes, more. I count 67 and our bucket is overflowing. All this from two old potatoes? Yes, Dad rubs my head. Ready to dig into the potatoes you grew? Yeah, I'm hungry. The end. If you want, you can send Miss Meyer a message and tell me how you eat your potatoes if your favorite is mashed potatoes, like the girl from the story, or french fries, or potato chips. Miss Meyer's favorite is definitely french fries. Talk soon. Bye. Thanks for listening.